Sharpen your pencils, Lebanese family. We're gonna do a little Khalil family history. So we're going to start somewhere toward the top, but not at the very top. We're going to start with Sam Khalil, or Salim Khalil, and Lillian Ruth Nicholas. Sam gets his name, Khalil, from his father. The custom was that they took their father's first name as their last name, so that's what happened. His father was Khalil Ayob. He was one of the Ayob brothers who tie everything together in my massive family. Lillian's father, Nicholas Ayob, and Sam's father, Khalil Ayob, were brothers. Sam Khalil married Lillian Ruth Nicholas, and they were very fruitful and they multiplied. They had many children, those children being Fozi Salim Ayub Khalil, my great-grandfather. Then a couple years later, after coming to the new country, they had a daughter named Mary, a daughter named Anne, a daughter named Rosemary, a daughter named Ruth, a son named John who passed away early in life, a son named Lou or Louie, another son named John, a daughter named Agnes, and a daughter named Verna Jean. Did you get that? Restart, rewind if you need to revisit any of that. So moving further down the tree, we're going to start at the bottom and the youngest with Verna Jean. Verna Jean sadly died early on in life, I believe from some type of cancer, so she did not have any children. Now Verna Jean and her husband Joseph Davis David, they in fact were second cousins, not first cousins, second cousins, being that they shared a great grandparent. And that great grandparent was Sam Khalil's mother, her father. So Sam's mother was Ruth David, and her father is the great grandparent that Verna Jean and Joseph David share. Then moving further up, we have Agnes Khalil. Agnes Khalil married Kenneth Fry, and they had four children, being Christine, Thomas, Sandra, and Brian. I don't know these people personally, um, so I'm not going to go into details about their descendants. However, I do know uh, who I call my Aunt Sandy. And she had two children, Shannon and Lindsay. They have gone on to have children, but I don't know them, so I'm not going to get into those details. And the next Khalil we're going to talk about is John Khalil. John Khalil went on to marry a lady named Dolores Sikorsky. And they had three children, being Jean Khalil, Joe Khalil, and Karen Khalil. Karen went on to have triplet girls being Cammie, Carrie, and Corey, and Jean went on to have two daughters as well being Dorothy and Vivian. We now move up to Lou Khalil, who was the decorated World War II hero. Lou or Louis Khalil married Genevieve Gapinski, and they had a son named Gregory. Gregory went on to have a daughter named Stephanie. Then Sam and Lillian had a son named John who died early on in life. I believe he was three when he passed away. Then moving up, we have the three daughters, Ruth, Rose, and Anne. All three of these ladies did not have children. Beyond that, we have Mary Khalil. And Mary Khalil married Edward Mansour, who was also of Lebanese and or Syrian descent. It's hard to differentiate between the two because they were both labeled as the same thing during that time. Their children were Loretta Mansour and Joseph Mansour. Loretta went on to have three children being Anthony Plamondon, John Plamondon, and Rebecca Plamondon. These people have all gone on to have families of their own, but I don't know them personally, so I won't go into those details. Joe Mansour married Luann, and he had three children as well, being Andrew, Mary Beth, and Nancy. So that covers everyone except for my great-grandfather. 
Now sometime between 1911 and 1913, Sam and Lillian Khalil, they came to this country and they left behind their youngest child being my great grandfather. Now I've heard multiple reasons as to why this happened, however I wasn't there, I don't know, I haven't seen it with my own eyes, so I don't know that those reasons are factual. Um, it's very bizarre to me, but that is what happened. And he did not come here until he was about eight or nine years old. Now, he told me many years ago that he actually lied on his paperwork so that he could come to this country stating that he was older. You had to be 10 years old to travel, but he was actually not that old. And when he actually got here, uh, his parents had had four or five more children and he felt very much like an outsider. He felt very much like he was adopted. Now he was growing up and being raised with people that he did not even know. And that kind of trickled down throughout history as to why he wasn't close with his siblings later in life. And which, strangely enough, I suppose history repeats itself because then, in turn, his sons and their children were not close with their cousins and their children and so on because they all didn't really grow up knowing each other. Now, my great-grandparents were, in fact, second cousins as well. My great-grandpa Jitto, his grandfather was Nick Nicholas Io and my great grandma Nellie, her grandfather was Michael Io, and they were brothers. So that makes their father the mutual great grandparent, and it makes them second cousins. My great grandparents, their marriage was actually an arranged marriage. I do believe that my great grandpa Jitto had a choice between two or three girls, and he chose Nellie Jabour. Um, but that that uh, it, it was in fact an arranged marriage. Uh, together they had two sons, Philip Khalil Jr. and then Robert. So we'll start with Bob. Bob married Bonnie Anderson, and together they had James Khalil. Kim does not have any children, and Jim went on to have a son and two daughters, being Elise, John, and Hannah Kalo. So I wish that the rest was easy to describe, but it is not. That is the way it goes with most Lebanese families, I assume, and ours is no exception. So Philip Sr. had his son, Philip Jr. Philip Jr., my Jado, married Joanne Francis Smith. And together they had five children, Philip Khalil III, Patty Khalil, Patricia Khalil, my mother, Dennis Khalil, Kenneth Khalil, and Mary Khalil. I wish it were that simple. In actuality, Philip and Joanne had more children than that because my Jitto adopted Joanne's daughter, Kathy, and then also Joanne's brother was made an early orphan because her parents died prematurely when he was quite young. So my grandparents adopted my grandma's brother and my grandma's daughter. So they did not actually have five children in the home, they had seven. So now we add Matt Smith Sr. to the mix and Kathy Khalil. Kathy Khalil went on to have 10 beautiful children, Helena, Nellie, Ransom, Lucy, Sally, Lily, Barney, Florence, Elsie, Gilead, and Jedediah. These people have all gone on to have families of their own, but I'm not gonna go into detail there. So next in line would be Matt Smith Sr. He went on to have many children, Trisha, Holly, Matt Jr., Jonathan, Bethany, Kevin, Mary, Michael, and then from a secondary marriage, he had another son named Logan. Next up we have Phil Khalil III, and he and his wife Carrie had Isabel, Preston, and Simeon, and he adopted her daughter from a former relationship, Gina. And then of course we have my mother who married Jeffrey Biofis, and together they had my older brother Daniel, myself, and my younger sister Emily. Then we have my uncle Ken who married Kathy, and they had Heather, Kenny Jr., and Kristen. And my uncle Ken's twin, my Aunt Mary, she married my uncle Joe Schumer. 
My Aunt Mary did not have any children of her own, but she always loved each and every one of her nieces and nephews and continues to love us as though we were her own. And then last but definitely not least is my Uncle Dennis, who uh, with his former spouse had Amber, Ashley, Lance, and Nicole. And that pretty much sums up our branch of the Khalil family. If I didn't mention you by name, I apologize. Hey, send me an email, shoot me a text, get to know me, and come to the reunion in September.